Philip McGovern from Big Mountain Productions. Can you tell us how the business came about in the first place? Well, Jane Kelly, and my, uh, my wife and partner in the business, and myself worked in the BBC and in RTE for many, many years. And then we went into the independent sector as freelance exec producers. And in fact, it was, it was our buyers, our clients who said, listen, you guys need to get together. You've got a really good skill set. And there's a gap in the market for former TV out of Ireland because we just haven't been performing in that market. Unlike the Dutch who have iWorks or in the mall or um, the Swedish or the Israelis, they're all at this game and Ireland wasn't performing. So they said, you guys get into it. And what exactly does it mean, format TV? Well, everything from Come Dine With Me to Dragon's Den to X Factor to, you know, Sky One's Big Dance Show we are all watching on Sunday night. I shouldn't say that, maybe for RT, but there you go. Uh, it was a huge show. And they're all formats and they're very lucrative if you get them right. And if you can scale them up, you can transfer them and you can make them for each individual country and franchise them the same way as Subway is franchised. So, like we would have Come Dine With Me here that would have originated in the UK, you're, going, you're coming up with programmes that then can be... Absolutely, and I have to say thanks to the likes of TV3, RTE, TV, TG Cahar, they're obligated to come up with new shows all the time because public service money is going into the broadcasters. And the same thing happened in Holland. The reason why Big Brother came out of Holland, the six stations there competing for ideas, wanting to put new stuff on screen. Same in Ireland, and, and I hope long may it last, and I hope Procession doesn't hit that, but we want to put on new stuff that works for an Irish audience, but perhaps could be internationalised. I think RTE and TV3 and other stations have woken up to that in the last while, because we need to be, as a sector, building ourselves up so we, we can solidify our job base, our freelance base, our cameramen, our soundmen, or whatever, and we get international business so we're not dependent on, on the domestic Irish market. It's too small, and we do really good stuff for here, but we get it out there. And why not? We're, we're English-speaking, and we're, we, we know the BBC, we know ITV, we know the Americans. So we're ideally placed, but up to now, we, we really haven't been performing. And we should be. And as a company then operating in this space, obviously you're doing something that's quite yeah. innovative. Um, how is it going? How is it growing? We've had our best year last year. Thanks to the broadcasters, I have to say. But, you know, it's, it's all about the right people to make it, the right idea, and will it connect with the audience? That's what we're all trying to figure out. What's the next big idea? What's the next come down with me? The next Dragon's Den? The next X Factor that's going to connect with the audience? And, you know, in a way we all know nothing, but in a way we have to go on our haunches and come up with the best show we can. And um, you mentioned the international aspect, so are you kind of um, setting up meetings and trying to get yeah. the wheels in motion? Yeah, at the moment I'm spending a lot of time in Los Angeles, a lot of time in London, Jane is as well is doing that. Um, you know, we're doing two, two things, one is to sell directly into the UK because the UK is the leader in formats in the world. One out of every ten shows that get on UK TV are internationalizable. So they're small little shows, like our big shows like Top Gear, Grand Designs, uh, they go abroad. Probably Come Down With Me in the last couple years has been the, the biggest success. Everyone talks about X Factor, but Come Down With Me works in so many countries and it's not that dear to produce, so smaller territories way out in South America or in Asia can, can make it. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can do an X Factor. Mm -hmm. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of show we'd like to go for. The next, I don't know, How To Look Good Naked or the next uh, Super Nanny. And in, in our case, we did a show uh, in the last year called uh, Genealogy Roadshow for RT, which we were talking to UK broadcaster about. We were also talking to an American broadcaster about. And obviously, if that does well, then we go with other shows. Um, and that's the way to go.